Well, Travopag was recently approved uh, in frontline for severe plastic anemia uh, in combination with immunosuppressive therapy. So what's important to delineate here is that historically immunosuppressive therapies have been developed to treat uh, severe plastic anemia uh, uh, when transplant was not uh, an option. So it's an alternative to stem cell transplantation with uh, equal rates of long-term survival. Uh, so immunosuppressive therapy in the form of horse ATG cyclosporin has been the most well-studied uh, regimen in Europe, Asia, and the United States for decades. Now, several attempts have been made in order to improve outcomes of horse ATG, including adding more immunosuppression like mycophenolate, sirolimus, uh, rabbit ATG, alintuzumab, cyclophosphamide. Many of these therapies actually worked in the sense that they never improved their response rate or their survival. So in 2010, there was a trial that was developed to add uh, L-tromopag to immunosuppressive, which started in 2012, asking the question, could a growth factor that was shown to be active in aplastic anemia earlier in refractory patients could have activity in the upfront setting. That is, in combination with the standard horse ATG cyclosporin regimen. So that was a study that was conducted from 2012 to 2017. It was published in the New England Journal in 2017 showing uh, remarkable rates of overall response rate in the order of 90, 95% and complete response rates in the order of 40 to 50 percent. And in some patients, actually, the response rate complete was up to uh, 50 to 60 percent. So these are unheard numbers with immunosuppression alone. So this would prompted the enthusiasm for this regimen, decreasing the pool of patients who were refractory to initial immunosuppressive therapy. Historically, the response rate for immunosuppressive therapy, it's in the order of 60 to 70 percent and complete like 10 percent. So having people 40 to 50 percent responding, complete response, actually looks like you're really changing the natural history of the disease. And this is what was submitted to the uh, uh, FDA uh, last year and this year, and this is what led to the approval of the combination of l bag 2 standard horse ATG cyclosporin in frontline treatment for severe aplastic anemia. The Standard regimen of severe aplastic anemia in terms of immunosuppressive therapy is ATG plus cyclosporin. Now, in the United States and some parts of the world, the preferred treatment is with horse ATG cyclosporin because it gives better results compared to all the other uh, therapies like rabbit ATG cyclosporin. Now, rabbit ATG cyclosporin is given in many parts of the world because horse ATG is not available. So the frontline regimen involves a combination of ATG plus cyclosporin, preferably horse ATG cyclosporin, which is the regimen that has been associated with a higher overall response rates and long-term survival. In fact, there have been studies comparing horse versus rabbit ATG, and most prospective studies show that there is a benefit towards the horse ATG regimen, which is interestingly a less potent immunosuppressant uh, regimen, uh, which was uh, unexpected given that more potent regimens were investigated, but they did not yield better results. So the standard uh, is a horse ATD cyclosporin. Now what's probably going to change with the approval of l trombopag is that given the higher overall response rates and complete response rates and decreasing that pool of patients who actually are refractory to frontline therapy, I anticipate that most will end up incorporating l trombopag uh, to horse ATG cyclosporin like it was in the uh, uh, application for the FDA and the recent uh, approval. So before uh, it was just uh, IST or immunosuppressive therapy. I suspect that now with this data that the combination will be commonly applied.